Here we are again on LoveSpices.com. We're out here at the 28th annual Fiery Food Show. Some more local heroes right here. Teal French chili sauce made right here in the 505 Albuquerque, baby. This is Frank. He's got a couple sauces out here. He's got a green and a red. Imagine that. Hot or mild? Hot or mild. Okay, so talk to me, man. This is, uh, everybody goes ready to Tell me what separates yours from basically Albuquerque. Well, we have red and green, hot and mild, all natural, okay. real short ingredients. That's what separates us. Real short ingredients. Right? Flour, oil, dark, and salt. Do you like nice. A little bit of vitamin C to keep yourself stable. Right. Just like mom used to make. Very cool. Let's check it out. So what do we got here? This is the mild? This is green hot. This is the green hot. Now, are you serving this once? Yes, we're warming it up. Oh, it's easy to serve because it's already cooked. So okay. Warm it up, pour it on your egg, make it chiladas, other burritos. So it's, it's ready to roll. Ready to rock and roll. Just uh, open it up, warm it up, and throw it on. It's been shelf stable, two years in the cupboard. I have to check it in about three weeks. Let me ask you this. How do you get from the mild to the hot? Uh, we buy a milder chili. So they actually grow the mild ones yeah. compared to the hotter ones? When they get hot chilies, I guess they keep the seeds and then they grow hot. Very cool. So that is excellent. You're, you're, you're dead on as far as it being warm and then the, the, the least amount of flavors and then the green chili. Just, that is excellent. I, I, I dig it. I, I like the fact that you leave the seeds in there, the whole chili, perfectly roasted. A lot of the stuff that I've tried, if they're over roasted, you get a lot of the black flakiness in it. This is very, very nice. So the red, I've made my own red sauce. I think it's okay. There's got to be something that I'm doing wrong. Red's a pain. You gotta blend the heck out of it. And one of the secrets is, uh, well, we cook ours with flour. Right? What do you mean, you cook it as you're boiling it? Uh, yeah, no, as we cook the flour first and then okay. put it in the red. And what do you mean, cook the flour? Uh, it's a thickening agent, so okay. you're uh, frying it with some oil, some okay. oil, some flour, oil, garlic, and salt, all the ingredients is. And, uh, so you're boiling your red peppers in just water? Yeah, we steam the chili and then you blend it forever to right. liquefy. Right, right, to get all the chunks out of it. Yeah. All that stuff. So it's just strictly water and peppers, which you start And garlic. And garlic. And then you, you, you boil that all at the same time? I'm still in the secrets, brother. That's not uh, I, <laughs> I apologize. But that, dude, I've been trying to make really killer red sauces. I'm coming pretty close, but um, I tried mine a bunch of different ones. I did, uh, I, I boiled mine in some chicken now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but see, I, I never even thought about the flour. So that sounds like a really cool I'll tell you how to get it really good. Okay? Get you got it. All right, let's try this right. I, I won't share your secret to anybody. Right. So you got uh, mild and hot. And the red too? And the red as well, yeah. And then it's the same thing. You got the red, hotter red chilies and then the Exactly, but this year the red crop is coming as hot as we like it. I know, it, what we happened? like it really hot. So we might have to, make, we might have to wait until next year to get it super hot. We really like it, the hotter the better. That's the mild, but it's not a little kick. It's got a lot of kick. That's really good. New Mexico mild. <laughs> New Mexico mild. That's that's excellent. Dude, I mean, I'll put that up against anybody's red and green in town. Oh, and I've, and I've tried just about every restaurant out here. Right, I appreciate that. And that that is super fantastic. I wish you all the best of luck. Um, we need to send this out to some of our reviewers out of state because a lot of them never really tried any of the red and green. Uh, we've got 800 sauce makers out here that's got five or six different products. Um, and we get a chance to try a lot of that. But my reviewers, a lot of them out of state, have never really got any red and green. So we'll get that all set up for you. I'm telling you, that rocks, dude. Excellent. Yeah, we just concentrated on the red and green sauce. So do you sell any restaurants on here? Not the restaurants. We used to own a restaurant years ago, but I didn't wish that on my first enemy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Especially I work. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're right now in Alberton, Smith, Whole Foods, John Bridge, Crabs. Locally, I'm in Colorado on Whole Foods. Why are you I'm in El Paso and Alberton. And we're trying to expand. But yeah, you know, on my website, I sell all over the country. Very cool. Ship Austin, in Hawaii, yeah. yeah. Very cool, Frank. All right, appreciate have a good nice meeting you. Right on, Glad you came by. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, we'll catch you on the next one. This is Fiber Joe Fry, LoveSpices.com. Later. You were a killer down in Mexico, watching John the Baptist drown.